Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a video that I think I have never gotten so many requests for and that is my makeup collection and how I organize and store my makeup. I'm really excited to show you guys all of my organization and storage tips because I have worked so hard to try and find good organization methods for my makeup collection. And I feel like I'm finally actually happy with the way I store my makeup. Now I'm actually posting this video on my birthday. It is June 13th and I'm officially 22. So in order to sort of celebrate my birthday, I actually want to do a little bit of a giveaway to give back to you guys. So don't forget to stay tuned to the end of the video if you wanna hear about that giveaway. One last thing before I jump into my collection video, I sort of wanna preface this video with a little bit of a disclaimer. I am very aware that I do have a, a lot of makeup. Makeup is basically my job. Not only was I a freelance makeup artist, I'm not anymore, but I used to be. So a lot of my makeup that I've accumulated is from my freelance kit. And of course, YouTube is my job. So it's very important for me to really keep up with trends, keep up with the new makeup that's being released in order for me to create content that's on trend and that's informative for you guys. Not only that, but I'm also a little bit just addicted to makeup which is okay because I feel like most of you are too. So that's all I really wanted to say. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and do find it helpful. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already and let's get right into it. So this is an overview of my vanity. It is actually custom made. So unfortunately I can't tell you guys like exactly where to buy it. The vanity has five drawers on each side. Four of them are a little bit more shallow and then the last one is a bit more deep. And then I have one long drawer right in front of me. Okay, so let's first start off with the left hand side of my vanity, which is where I like to keep all of my lipsticks. So I have these two lipstick towers, which I'm absolutely in love with. Honestly, I don't know what I would have done without these. The two lipstick towers that I have, the one on the left, the smaller one is from ladymoss.com and the one on the right, which is definitely my personal favorite, is from Luxbox. So let's start with the Lady Moss lipstick organizer and starting at the top. So right up here is where I like to keep all of my favorite lip products. So for example, my whole entire Marc Jacobs lip gloss collection is all right up here because these are my favorite lip glosses, so I like to have them where I could easily reach them when I want them. I also have some some buxom glosses here as well because those are also some of my favorites. A bike gloss and then in the center over here is where I like to keep all of my Kylie liquid lipsticks. Now, the way I like to organize my lipsticks is by brand. I just find it makes it a lot easier when I'm looking for them. So for example, all of my NARS Audacious lipsticks are right over here. I have my Charlotte Tilbury ones here, all of my Ciate, and then spinning this around, I've got some MAC ones, all of my Urban Decay Revolution Matte Lipsticks. And then I have some more MAC ones all over here. And then right over here is where I keep my Tarte glasses. I have my Charlotte Tilbury glasses, some Jouer products, as well as the new Anastasia lip glosses. Now moving on to my second organizer. So what I love so much about this is that it has so many different compartments. So for example, there are slots on both sides. So on this side and this side, and I believe each side contains 48 slots if I'm not mistaken. So similar to the other lip tower, I do like to organize these by brand as well. So for example, I have all of my NARS lipsticks here as well as my Smashbox ones. And then I have my Bite lipsticks, which you guys know are some of my favorite lipsticks. So I use these quite a lot. And then I have my Dose of Colors lipsticks and glosses, some more Hourglass liquid lipsticks, and of course my Milani matte lipsticks. And then on the other side of this, I have obviously <laughs> more lipsticks. Surprise, surprise, here's some more Milani matte I have my Tom Ford, my YSL, a Maybelline, my Glossier lip balms, some Urban Decay ones, my Lancome Juicy Shakers, which are so cute, my Jouer liquid lipsticks and lip glosses, which I'm just completely fallen in love with. Now moving on to the side holders. Like I said, this is where I like to keep longer lip products. So for example, lip pencils just fit perfectly in here. Most of these in here are from Ofra. And then next to that, I keep my ColourPop Matte X lipsticks. I am obsessed with these. They are like literally the best formula ever. And then on the other side is where I like to keep just some longer lip products. So for example, my Kat Von G liquid lipsticks, ColourPop Ultra Satins, and some NARS liquid lipsticks here as well. So now moving on to the drawers. Each drawer basically just has liquid lipsticks. So for the first drawer, I have all of my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, and then I have all of my ColourPop liquid lipsticks. Now moving on to the second drawer. This one's just a little bit messier and a little bit harder to see, but I have all of my Too Faced Melted Matte, which I did do a full review on if you guys want to check that out. I do also have my Tartus Lippy Paints in here. I have some Sephora liquid lipsticks 
and the Stila, um, like the little mini liquid lipsticks. All right, so this is the last and final drawer. I have my colored rain liquid lipsticks in here, some of the newer uh, liquid lipstick releases from Anastasia. I also have my Kylie glosses, I, and then I just have like some other random ones. Like I have my Buxom gloss Stila liquid lipstick in the shade Caramello, which is one of my favorites, and of course, Stila Patina. Now moving on towards the center of my vanity, I feel like a lot of times if you just have like acrylic organizers on the desk, it could sort of just make it look a little bit boring. So I like to just add things like coffee cups, decorative jars, and even fake plants just to liven up the space. I think it makes all the difference. So like I said, I do love using coffee mugs to organize my makeup. So this one in particular is from Anthropology, and I think it is so cute. It has a J on it, so it's nice and personalized. And purple is my favorite color, so I thought this mug was just perfect. This mug is where I basically like to keep all of my daily essentials. So for example, my favorite mascara, some favorite brow products and stuff like that, just so that they're easy to reach because I use them basically every single day. So I like to have them right on top of my vanity. So right next to that is another little jar that I got from Anthropology. This contains all of my favorite lip balms. So I have all of my Glossier lip balms. So now moving on to the center of my vanity, and this is where I keep a lot of random stuff, again, that I use mostly on an everyday basis so that I'm able to reach for them easily. So for example, I have some of my favorite foundations that I just keep right on top of my vanity, as well as things that I just wanna remind myself to use. So for example, I just got this Bourjois Healthy mix serum foundation and I wanted to remind myself to use it so I kept it right on top of my vanity because it's very easy to get in a routine especially with makeup so it's important for me to try out new makeup for you guys so that I could give you guys new recommendations and so this is how I sort of just remind myself to do that. I also have some of my favorite foundations up here. I have my Cogendo Armani Luminous Silk, Armani Maestro Glow. I also have one of my favorite powders. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. My setting sprays, Urban Decay All Nighter, and of course, MAC Fix Plus. And then over here, I also have two products that I've just been loving lately. So this is the new Anastasia Sun Dipped Glow Kit as well as the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I also find it pretty important to have some type of makeup remover on your vanity, so I like to keep a bottle of Bioderma just at the ready. Now moving on to more of the right side of my vanity, this is where I like to keep all of my pencils. Now I have discovered that plant holders work amazingly well for storing makeup. So this is a plant holder, there's like a tray here and then has three little tins. On the right side, this is where I like to keep all of my lip liners, so I have a bunch of NYX ones, some Urban UK, MAC Makeup Forever, all of my favorite ones. And then in the center, as well as on the left-hand side, is where I like to keep all of my eyeliners. Now bringing this little guy in, this is actually another plant holder, is where I like to keep all of my chubbier pencils and lipsticks. So I have, for example, all of the rest of my ColourPop lippy sticks. And then over here is where I keep some cream eyeshadows. So I have some NARS ones, some Jouer ones, an essay edit one. So moving on to my majestic brush holder. I think I'm most excited to talk to you guys about this. So I actually found this on Pinterest and I was like, oh my God, this is the best idea ever. So I went out to Ikea, it's meant for plants, but obviously it works amazingly well for brushes. So basically I organized it in a way that all of my eye brushes are on the top level over here and then all of my face brushes are on the bottom. What I like about these as well is that you could remove them. That way, if you're working and you know you need a lot of eye brushes, you could just take this, put it next to you, and then put it back. Inside of the eye brush holders, I put some vase filler beads because it just sort of makes the brushes stand up straight. Otherwise, they'll sort of just be flopping like all over the place. For the face brushes, I didn't need to do that because they are so large, they just sort of stand up by themselves. All right, so now let's jump into the drawers. So let's start off with the first drawer that is actually the largest of all of my drawers. Starting off in the right side of this drawer, I feel like this is probably the most boring part of my vanity. This is just where I like to keep all of my things that I sort of just need, like my eyelash curlers. I also have my scissors, my tweezers, primers, lip balms, eyelash glue, lip scrubs, lip masks. So back here is where I like to keep my ColourPop highlighters. I just sort of stack them right next to each other so that it takes up as little room as possible. And then I have some ColourPop eyeshadows in here as well. And then back here is where I like to keep all of my Urban Decay single eyeshadows. Now moving on to the left-hand side of my vanity, which is definitely more exciting. This is where I like to keep all of my everyday 
well not really my everyday but just like all of my favorite primers foundations and powders and then right over here is where I like to keep all of my favorite single eyeshadows on the right hand side over here is where I like to keep all of my ColourPop single eyeshadows I have of course my Kat Von D um, metal crush eyeshadows thunderstruck had a little bit of an accident and I've had to like repress it I swear I don't even know how many times. I have all of my favorite NYX Prismatic eyeshadows, which are my favorite eyeshadows from the drugstore. They are so incredibly intense. I mean, like, look at that. Hello. MAC single eyeshadows, some Ardency In. I have a few NARS ones, like the Coconut Grove. So yeah, it's basically everything that's in my first drawer. So now moving on to the drawers that are on the left hand side of my vanity. So I have all of my mascaras here. I've got like the Maybelline Last Sensational, the CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers. I have some Benefit ones, some Too Faced ones, the new YSL mascara, which has a very heavy rose scent and I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Right over here is where I like to keep all of my favorite concealers, so all of my most used ones. Now in the center here, this is just sort of a very random zone. Uh, these are things that I like to use um, pretty often, so I just like to keep them on my top shelf. For example, I have two of my favorite Becca blushes. This is Flower Child and Songbird. And then on the left-hand side is where I like to keep all of my other concealers. So these are concealers that I still use, just not quite as often as these ones over here. So I have my Makeup Forever um, concealer palette, my RCMA contour palette, the MAC concealers, Tarte concealer, the Stila Aqua Glow. And then back here is where I like to keep all of my brow products. So if it has something to do with my brows, then it's gonna be going in here. So basically, Basically, the next two drawers are all um, highlighters, blushes, and bronzers. Right over here is where I like to keep all of my Too Faced bronzing powders, which I love. So I just keep them in this little um, organizer over here. Then in this case over here is where I like to keep a lot of my Hourglass products and Laura Mercier products. So I have my Hourglass illuminators and some blushes and of course the Hourglass setting powders. Then over here I have my Sephora bronzer in Los Cabos and a Bobbi Brown nude finish illuminating powder. Not sure how I feel about this honestly and then right next to that I have all of my Laura Mercier products so I have a lot of her highlighters this one in particular is one of the new ones it's called Rosé it is absolutely stunning then back here is where I like to keep some more blushes so I keep all of my discontinued sadly Kat Von D shade and light blushes I also have my um, Charlotte Tilbury blush my two cargo blushes all of my Milani blushes which are some of my favorite from the drugstore so now moving on to the third drawer which again just contains more blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So in the back container over here, this is where I like to keep all of my NARS blushes just sort of stacked on top of each other. Right next to that, I have my Urban Decay blushes, Marc Jacobs blush and Obsessed, which I am currently quite obsessed with. My Too Faced Love Flush blushes, my Too Faced blush in Peach Beach. I have my NARS Laguna bronzer under here, my Milani blushes back here, the Glossier highlighters. So then in the front organizer, this is where I like to keep some highlighters. Right over here are the Anastasia illuminators. I have all four and I love them. They are so beautiful. Of course, the Jouer cream highlighters, Too Faced candlelight glow highlighter, the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This is the gold one, so it looks like this. This is actually the first highlighter that I ever bought. I think I bought it when I was how old was I? I don't even know how old I was, but it was a really long time ago and I didn't even know what it was and I used it as an eyeshadow because that's what I thought it was. I thought it was just a giant eyeshadow and then years later I realized what the intended use for and then my life was changed basically. So moving on to the fourth drawer, which is probably one of my favorites because it has all of these Too Faced melted lipsticks. Now the reason why I actually have all of, all of these lipsticks is because I did a campaign with Too Faced. I basically took a picture with every single one of these lipsticks on my lips for their website. So that's why I have all of them. It's the original metal and chocolate. So they're all here. Back here are just some random lip products that I don't really have any other place to put. Then in this little bucket over here is where I like to keep some cream products and some of my correctors. So I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin correctors as well as my Becca color correctors, Josie Moran Argon and Light Mint Liquid Highlighter. This is the Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam, Benefit What's Up, 
Benefit uh, Dandelion Dew, and then Benefit Dew the Hula. Now in the last drawer on the left hand side of my vanity is where I like to keep all of my oversized items. So for example, I have my giant pure bronzer. It's half matte and half shimmer. My Tom Ford Trio, which I just bought. Of course, my Marc Jacobs contour and highlighting powder and my Marc Jacobs bronzer is in here as well because they are just ginormous. I also keep my new Jouer highlighters and eyeshadows in here. So these are from the Mermaid Collection. These are the eyeshadows. And then these are the beautiful, beautiful cream highlighters. My Sleek palette, which I've decided is the most intense highlighter ever. Too Faced, this is the Sweet Tea Bronzer. It's really, really pretty. And then on the side over here are my Wet and Wild palettes. And then over here is where I like to keep some of my lashes. This little bucket over here is where I like to keep all of my Becca stuff. So I have my Becca cream highlighters, my Becca blushes, my Becca illuminizing blushes, and of course my Shimmering Skin Perfectors as well. And then over here is where I like to keep also my long comb. These are the cushion blushes, which are so cool and really beautiful for summer. They give a very natural effect. So moving on to the right hand side of my vanity, this is the top drawer. And this is where I like to keep all of my foundations as well as my powder. So these are not the foundations that I wear every single day. Like they're not my all time favorites. My all time favorites, as you were able to see, were in my front drawer. And then back here is where I like to keep some powders and some other primers that I have and just other stuff like that. You could just feast your eyes. Now this drawer is probably one of my favorite drawers. So this is where I like to keep all of my Anastasia lip glosses and I just sort of stack them on top of each other so they're easy to find. And then back here is where I like to keep all of my Anastasia liquid lipsticks. And then in this organizer is where I like to keep um, some bite lipsticks as well as these Buxom mini glosses. So moving on to the next drawer, which is also filled with some more lip products. So this whole section over here is all NYX lip products. The reason why I have so many NYX lip products is because last year, if you are unaware, I was in the NYX Face Awards. So when you're in the NYX Face Awards, they basically send you like every single NYX product that was ever made. So I basically just put them all in this organizer and just like the Anastasia ones, I just stack them on top of each other. So there's like the NYX Intense Butter Glosses, Soft Matte Lip Creams, Butter Glosses, High Voltage Lipsticks, Liquid Suede, also some Butter Lipsticks, some of their Matte Lipsticks. Just a ton of just NYX variety is in here. And then back here is where I like to keep some more liquid lipsticks. So most of these are Ofra liquid lipsticks. I also have some random ones like my MAC liquid lipsticks. I've got some LA Splash ones back here. So this next drawer is where I like to keep all of my pigments. So in this container back here is where I like to keep all of my Naked Cosmetics pigments. So I have, of course, my MAC pigments, which I keep over here. I also have some Makeup Geek pigments. And then in this bin, I have all of my liquid eyeliner. So I have my Morphe, my Inglot, which is my favorite, my Maybelline NYX. I have a MAC one over here. And I also have my one glitter eyeliner from Urban Decay. This is the Heavy Metal Glitter in Midnight Cowboy. I actually used this last night and it was beautiful. Then in here, this is where I like to keep some more loose pigments and some just cream eyeshadows. So I have some Artist Couture, Sweet Pea and Faye loose eyeshadows in here as well, which are so beautiful. Pure, these are the eye polishes. And then I have some cream eyeshadows from Anastasia, from Maybelline, from MAC. They're all sort of just stacked on top of each other all over here. Okay, so now we're on to my last and final drawer. This is my palette drawer. So as you can see, this is definitely the messiest and most crowded drawers. I still find it very difficult to organize palettes without them getting completely all over the place because I'm constantly searching through them and pulling them out. So in here I have a huge variety of stuff. I've got my Z palettes that have all of my single eyeshadows from Anastasia, Makeup Geek, and MAC. Got my blushes from uh, these are Tarte and Makeup Geek. And then of course I have my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. So I have the Chocolate Bonbon, the Semi Sweet, the Chocolate Bar, and then the Sweet Peach. Of course I have got my, my Lorac Pro palettes, one and two. Some Anastasia palettes, some Kat Von D ones. I also keep some like contour palettes. This is the Tarte Tartist Contour palette. Um, I just bought this Too Faced Cocoa Contour palette, which I've been really enjoying. Tartlet and Tartlet in Bloom, which are two of my favorites. And yeah, so that's basically what's in this drawer, just a ton of palettes.
Okay, let's get into the giveaway. I feel like I can't tell you guys enough how much I appreciate you. This is probably one of the best ways to just give back to you guys. Let's uh, just, you know, jump into the products that I'm going to be including. So the first thing that I have here is this Benefit Real Cheeky Party Kit. This kit is really, really great. It has a bunch of blushes, a bronzer, highlighter, a mascara, and an eyeliner in here. I also have a NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. I feel like a lot of you will probably be really excited about this other thing. Thing that's been included in the giveaway. This is the Manny MUA and Makeup Geek palette. I have two of the Lancome Juicy Shakers. Then I have a ton of lip products here. I have two of my two favorite Tartus lip paints. I have Man Bun and TBT. Two of the new Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. This one is called Disobedient and this one is called Insanity, which is my favorite nude in the collection. Four of the Gerard Cosmetics Supreme Lip Creams in the shade Envy, Destiny, Wonderland and Electric Rose. I'm also including two of the Anastasia liquid lipsticks in the shade Soft Lilac and Catnip. Three Too Faced bronzers in Sun Bunny, Beach Bunny, and Dark Chocolate Soleil. And then the last two products that are in the giveaway is a Benefit Pore Fresh Vanilla and a Becca Shivering Skin Perfector in Opal. So that's everything that's gonna be included in the giveaway. Now in order to enter, it's very straightforward. So all you gotta do is just click the link in the description box and it'll bring you to a separate page. And the one mandatory thing that you have to do to enter the giveaway is to be subscribed to my channel. Obviously this giveaway is for my loyal subscribers, so it is obviously mandatory to be subscribed to my channel. It just makes sense. So if you are subscribed, then you already have an entry into the giveaway. Now if you wanna give yourself more entries, then there are just basically different tasks that you could complete. This giveaway is going to end next Monday. I will put the exact date in the description box down below. Please be 18 or over if you're gonna be entering. If not, then please just have a guardian's permission. Um, this giveaway is international. Please, no spamming. And I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway on Twitter, and I will also be putting the name of the winner in the description box down below of this video next Monday. That's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this giveaway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, do not forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.